Hi everyone, can you hear me? I can see Charlotte and Alison. Let me know if you can hear me. I'm just trying to find myself on my phone. Yay, you can hear me. <laughs> Great. <laughs> How are you, Alison and Charlotte? Hope you're okay. Um, I can see Linda now is saying can hear you fine in New York. Well, welcome. Sue, hi everyone, hearing you fine. Janet, oh brilliant. I can see people jumping on now. That's lovely. Welcome back. You've been missed. Oh, thank you, Alison. I've missed you guys, actually. But I've been in so much pain, I have to say. Um, I've literally not even been able to sit. That's why I couldn't do the live streams. Alison Morgan's saying, Hi, Ashley and my crafty family can hear you loud and clear. Brilliant. Oh, glad you're all jumping on. So just to fill you in on how I'm doing, um, my back went into spasm, must be five weeks or so ago. And as a result of that, I've got some kind of nerve damage, which is affecting my left leg. Hi, Charlotte. I am feeling much better. Thank you. Um, but the pain from my hip down my left leg was excruciating. And I muddled through for about two and a half weeks just with medication from over the counter. And then in the end, I woke up literally in tears one morning and I had to just get onto the doctors. And they asked me to come in and said um, they'd just give me stronger painkillers and I'd have to kind of sit and wait it out for about six weeks. And if it wasn't any better, I could maybe try physio. Um, but at the time, I wasn't in any state to have any physio. Um, I couldn't sit because the pain in my hip was terrible. From my knee down, I couldn't feel my leg. Um, I couldn't walk. <laughs> I literally had to lie down and I was putting ice on, on everywhere and then heat on everywhere and doing that alternating, then getting up and pushing myself to try and walk around. Anyway, with the stronger painkillers, which I've had to take religiously every six hours, I have started to do better. Um, the pain in my hip is gone and that's why I'm now able to sit at my computer and just in the last, was it yesterday I think and the day before I've been able to do a bit of crafting and get some projects made that I had to get done. Um, so that's why I thought I'd come on. I'm still taking the painkillers but not as many. I've still got pain in my knee the feeling is, has, has come back quite a bit, bit in the bottom half of my leg, but I still can't get up and down stairs properly. I can't put any weight properly on my left leg, so I'm still kind of hobbling around, but that's where we're at at the moment. So I've just seen that Alison has said that you're waiting for surgery on your knee, hopefully before Christmas. Oh, bless Alison. And Jim says hi. Well, say hi to Jim for me as well. Hi, Sharon. Hi, Lynn, from Vietnam, wow. Marcia, hello everyone, nice to be back. Hi, Ashley, hope you're doing better. Back problems are bad, sun suffering with the same right now. It's awful, it's so debilitating. I mean, when my back went last time badly like this, which was about nine years ago, it affected my right leg, but this time it's my left leg. It's been absolutely awful. I've not been able to sleep at night because I couldn't lie on it. I couldn't lie on the other side because that was like putting strain on it. 
anyway um so the reason that i also hi karen hope you're okay um hi zelda from south africa alison saying i'm suffering again with my back now and can hardly walk due to the pain oh no alison i know what that's like i truly truly sympathize Alison saying had that 20 years ago and had to burn nerve out. Oh no, I'm hoping that mine's just going to get better on its own. Um, Karen saying, didn't know you'd been poorly pleased you're on the mend. Um, the back is the worst. Patty saying, hi everyone, so sorry you were in pain. Janet, um, something helped my back. Um, hi Susan, hope you're okay. S um, Susan, I've I just looked before I came live. I've not been live since August the eighth because I've been ill with my back. Um, Mandy sat with a broken leg. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> um, back and legs are the worst pain. Karen's saying she has spondylitis in her spine and in her neck so she knows how I feel. Oh God, what are we like? Alison D saying, I feel terrible. I thought your absence was due to your daughter's golf. It's fine, Alison, don't worry. I did post a, um, a blog post about it. And I, I think I posted a YouTube video. All the videos that have been being um, going live every week are all pre-recorded videos. I literally pre-record loads of videos, you know, sometimes a month, six weeks in advance. So fortunately, all the videos that have still been going live on a Tuesday have been all the ones that have all pre been pre-recorded. So yesterday and the day before, I um, started to feel able to sit for, you know, a bit of a time. So I've been able to record a couple more videos. Next Sunday, I'm not going to be here because I'm going on a stamping up retreat for the weekend. I leave on Friday and I'm due home on Sunday. And um, I've just been kind of keeping everything crossed that I was going to be fitting well enough to be able to travel because I've not even been able to drive with it being my left leg because I have a manual car and I couldn't depress the clutch because I had no strength in my leg. So that's another reason why I wanted to come on tonight, just to catch up with everybody and let you all know that I'm not going to be here next Sunday. So, as I say, another reason why I wanted to come on tonight. Somebody, I can't remember who it was, it may have been Donna or somebody, I can't remember, did ask me weeks ago if, even though I'd done a video on the like filter page in Canvas Workspace, if I could maybe go over that. So I just thought, as I'm just coming on to jump on and catch up with you all, maybe we could just have a look at that. I've got no project or anything planned. I'm really sorry. Um, I just haven't felt up to it. I've um, had to make some swaps and a table gift for this retreat I'm going to. And literally it's taken me like a couple of days just to be able to do those and and I just filmed them as I went along so they'll go on my channel in a few weeks after the retreat I'm obviously not posting anything before I go because just in case anybody sees what I've made or what I'm taking um Alison's saying you saw the YouTube video okay um so I'll give you a quick catch up on Hannah because somebody mentioned Hannah. So literally I've not seen any of Hannah's golf in over a month. Um, some of you may remember me telling you that earlier on in the year she won the Derbyshire Women's County Championships. And as a result of that, what happens is any county that hold a county championships and then obviously the winner of each one the, that particular county is allowed then to put their champion forward to England Golf. And England Golf host um, a competition. It's always in September and it's called Champion of Champions. So basically any ladies county champion and there's a men's as well and there's um, a boys and a girls. And they're all played over a particular weekend at Woodhull Spa in Lincolnshire, which is like the home of England Golf. Um, and they all put their champion forward and they play. So all the women play. Every woman that's won 
her championship throughout the country all turn up and play 36 holes of golf any man that's won his championship play and it's played over the Saturday and Sunday and the women's championship was on the Sunday and Hannah had two rounds of 18 to play so 36 holes in a day I wasn't able to go to that because I couldn't travel she said to me you know even if you come with me why don't you hire a buggy I wasn't even fit enough to sit in a buggy and press a pedal to drive around in a buggy so I missed all that and she only went and won it so she's the England women's county champion of champions um so that's been all over Instagram on England Instagram and England Facebook and it was in the papers um so I missed all that um she won something else as well I can't remember um she's been doing well in the pro competitions that she's been playing every Monday she's been doing really well um she's she won something else and I really can't remember because like I say it's like over five weeks ago since um all this started to happen with my back and I've I've missed all her competitions for the last four and a half weeks um so that was um upsetting for me to not be there to see her win one of the biggest England competitions so she's now a plus handicapper <laughs> she's a plus one handicapper um she's playing in a pro event tomorrow and I am going to try and travel um, the course that she's playing at is over Leeds Way and she played it last year so I know the layout of the course and it's one of those courses where um, I can literally stand on one hole and I can watch about three or four holes so I won't have to walk all the um, holes and it's easily accessible back for the clubhouse so um, I can walk slowly um, with a bit of a limp so I'm going to try and go to that one tomorrow because the pro events are nearly coming to an end. I think she's got this one and next week and then it goes into winter season. So let me just see what you're saying because I'm can, I can seeing all sorts of things flashing up like, hi, Jason, it's all right. I'm just waffling on and letting everybody know how I'm doing. Rachel's saying, wow, congratulations. Go, Hannah. You have to do what you can do. Don't mention golf. That's how I broke my leg. I know, Mandy. What are we like? We I spoke to you, didn't I, the other day about that? Oh no, Woodhall Spa was is lovely. Yeah, I, I was lucky enough. She got into the champion of championship champion. I can't even say it. Champion of champions a few years ago. She won um, the girls junior county champions, and she got to play at Woodhall Spa. But um, this was the first time she'd obviously won the ladies championships back in, I think it was May, um, at Mickleover, which is in Derby. Um, and that got her into the women's champion of champions. So um, it was nail biting because she was she was out as a two ball at, at the at the front of the field and everybody else was out in threes. And after round one, she was winning by one shot. But the, the woman that was closest to her was in the very last group. So obviously as a two ball, you get round quicker. And then when Hannah came in and had finished, um, we had um, I was watching it on my phone on live scoring. And obviously she was sat in the clubhouse waiting. There was like an hour and a half wait till everybody came in. So she found out if she'd won. She ended up winning by three shots. Um, but yeah, and on one hole, she had a quad. So for anybody that doesn't know what golf is, it was a par four. She ended up with an eight because a ball jumped from the fairway into the bottom of a tree and she couldn't get it out. So she ended up with an eight on one of the holes. But on the next hole, she birded. On the next hole, she parred. On the next hole, she birded. And on the next hole, she eagled. So in the next four holes, she'd made her four shots back, which was amazing. And she, she messaged me at the end and said, just goes to show, never give up, mum. <laughs> a bit late, but made it. Hi, Ashley, hope you're feeling better and continue the road to recovery. Good to see you today. We have missed you. Oh, thank you, Katie. Bonnie's saying that's awesome. Congratulations to Hannah. Way to go, Hannah. Woodall Spa is where my sister-in-law worked, been there many times. She lived opposite the car park. Wow, well done, Hannah. Oh, thank you, Alison. Wow, congrats to Hannah. That is super. Sorry you had missed the competitions. Oh, I know, gutted. 
biggest England competition she's ever won and I wasn't there to see it. Sorry, you've not been well, Jason, saying it's okay. Susan's saying way to go. Hannah, that's brilliant. Ashley, congratulations to Hannah. What a shame you missed it, I know. Hiya, Landy, hope you're okay. Sister-in-law looked after all the girls with clothing and travel. All right, okay. Susan's saying congrats to Hannah. Yeah, it's a, it's, a ni- it's a nice place. Last time we went was a few years ago, as I said, we got to stay in the actual hotel, the Woodhall Spa Hotel. Um, this time, because I wasn't there, um, a friend caddied for us, so they stayed in a Premier Inn. I think it was about 20 minutes away ago, well, away or something like that, though. So, um, because she was going to stay in the hotel, but there was a wedding on, on the Saturday night. And she, as she was out at something like half past seven on the Sunday morning, they, they, they'd said the wedding was going on till 1.30. And she said, I'm not being kept up by a wedding. Um, so they went and stayed somewhere else. But yeah, anyway, right, let's, let's, let's have a look at what's going on. Um, Alison D saying, oh, bless her, clever girl, great support from mum and dad. Right, so let's have a look at Canvas Workspace. Um, Charlotte's saying, disappointing to miss that win, but you have more to look forward to. Yeah, hopefully. And to be fair, I think in like the seven years she's played golf, this is the only time I've missed any of her golf competitions. So, you know, I've been there through... (laughs) through all the the rough times if you like so hi Roma um hi Ashley I'm from Guatemala it's good to hear that you're better God help you to get better oh thank you Roma that's lovely uh congrats to Hannah was it televised um Patty no England don't do um well they didn't televise it but in on Instagram and on their Facebook there's an interview with her and um, while she's being interviewed there are just some clips of her um, I think one coming out of sand and one sinking a putt because she she wondered why they were suddenly following her around with a camera she didn't know she never thought even though she knew she'd had a one shot lead after the first round the last group was still only coming in as she set off on her second round. Um, and she never thought, you know, she, she hoped she was good enough to win, but she never thought that she would win it. And she she wondered why people were buzzing around and lots of people were suddenly watching her. And one of the England guys came up to her when she'd had her eagle and said, was that an eagle, Hannah? And she said, yeah. And she said, he kind of walked off and he had an earpiece in and, she, and, he's, and he's on the microphone going, she's eagled. Um, 16 or something like that you know she thought it was a bit odd but it was very hot and she had obviously had a 7 30 star and she said she felt as though she had a bit of sunstroke so her caddy was trying to fill her full of water and keep her to hold it together and concentrate so she kind of never really took in what was going on around her and it was only when she came in and she saw the scores and that she was still leading um but again still only leading by one shot at that point after she'd finished her second round and then there was this hour and a half wait and then like I say the nearest girl or woman um, that was nearest to her was in the last group and she ended up bogeying some holes and she ended up I think plus five so Hannah and ended up winning by three shots so it was kind of all a bit of a blur um, but yeah so anyway right so um, Canvas Workspace for Computer as you'll probably all know um there was an update, I can't even remember when now, because I've been missing in action for that long, but there was an update where there's this filter page function, and I had a quick look at it at the time, and I did a kind of quick um, first impressions, if you like, video on it, and th- to be fair, there's, there's not a lot to talk about, really, but... Um, Somebody did say to me, maybe could we just go over it in a live? So being as though I've literally just come on just to give you an update of how things are, you know, have been going with me. I just thought we'd have a look at it. So if you if you're all up for that and you want to 
you know stay we'll have a look at it so this on my screen is um, Canvas Workspace for computer. Now, if you're on Canvas Workspace and yours doesn't look like this, then the chances are that you're using Canvas Workspace online. So you want to be using the downloadable version. So when you go to Canvas Workspace online, as you're starting to log in, there's a big black button. I think, it, I think it's either when you log in, or just before you log in, there's a big black button that says download. And that's where you download the computer based version. And it works on Mac or um, Windows. And if you look over on the right hand side here, you've got the edit panel, and then you've got like the properties and edit and you might not have the rhinestones. I've got the rhinestones showing here on the right because I've got the rhinestone kit activated. But you should see the layers panel and you should see the artboard. So this is how you know you're using the computer based version. OK, and then I'm not sure how well you'll see it because it's greyed out at the moment. But you've got like position and size. You've got X and Y. You, you know, we've used the X and Y coordinates before. And then you've got transform where you've got a line flip horizontally and vertically. And then you've got this new icon now that says duplicate and it has a square. And then inside the square, it's got like four triangles. It's a bit like the icon that's actually on the scan and cut machine. You know, the one we can use when we when we when we've got lots of shapes on our mat and we want to arrange them. So that's where it's found. So it's on the edit tab, which is the second icon down and it's just underneath transform. So if I just bring on a square and I'll just make it small for now and then let's bring on a heart and we'll make that smaller. I'm just literally dragging them by the corners. And I'm going to position them close together because this is something that I think somebody asked me and I can't remember whether I've actually, whether I went over this in the video or not. Um, sorry, I'm late. Missed you. Hope you're feeling better. I am a lot better. Thank you, Maria. Hi, Anita, um, Ashley and everyone. Hope you're well and feeling better. Yeah, I'm, I'm starting to feel a lot better. Um, at least I can sit now so I'm able to sit at my computer and that's why I'm here today so um, right let's have a look at this so I've got a little square which just looking at over on the right hand side now is 0 0.63 and a little heart which is 0 0.73 and I've positioned them quite close together I'm going to select them both. I don't know whether you need to select them both, actually. Yeah, I think you do to activate the... Yes, you do. So I've selected them both. That now activates the um, other functions. So if I now come to duplicate and I hover over this square with the triangles, it says fill page. So if I just click that now, it will automatically fill my page with all those shapes and it positions them as I position them. So I put these two close together and that's how it's duplicated them. If I just delete those and let's bring on the heart again and make it small just have a play with this and see let's grab the the square again so if I space these out and select them both and then come over to duplicate and fill page it will fill the page with them as I've spaced them so Looking at that, the easiest way to be able to do this is looks like position your shapes and things first before you then ask it to fill the page. So let's get rid of that. So let's go to text and let's type happy birthday and hit enter. And obviously, if you were going to use your scan and cut to 
draw this rather than cut it then you would come over to the top of the page and change it to a draw line and then because you're using the computer based version you can choose any font that you have on your computer so let's just try a Steena because that's a font that I've used several times before and then we'll take the size down and then can we fill the page just with that one yep so there you go so then it will fill your 12 by 12 page with your greetings and because you've assigned this as a draw line up here at the top Every single one of these now is a draw line. So you can send this over to your scan and cut machine and you could get your machine to draw out all those greetings for you. So for things like Christmas, if you want to type or not type, if you want to draw a specific, say, personalised greeting, you know, you may want to put from the Morrison family or, you know, um, just something personalised other than, you know, Happy Christmas or Season's Greetings. You could use the fonts that you have on your computer, type out your greeting here in Canvas Workspace and then get the Scan and Cut to draw them all for you and you could cut them out and you've got, you know, instant greetings for all your many Christmas cards that you may be sending. So Alison's saying that I have done that with banners. Yeah, what you could also do. So let's get rid of all these. And get rid of all these. And I think I did show this bit in, in the video, but... If I select this, as you can see, it says happy birthday and I've assigned it as a draw line. If I come over to the left to the shapes and drag on a rectangle and put a rectangle around it, and this doesn't have to be a rectangle, it could be any shape, and just put, say, a rectangle like that around it, the shapes, anything you bring on to your Scan and Cut Canvas workspace mat, in the computer-based version automatically comes on as a cut line. So you can see I've got the rectangle selected and up at the top it says cut. If I go to the layers panel and click on the text, you'll see it says draw. So you could then just select both of those, come back to your edit tab and do your filter page again. And then this time you've got all your boxes around them. So when you load, your sorry Rachel <laughs> I was gonna type happy Christmas <laughs> and then I thought no I'll type happy birthday instead <laughs> um, so when you send this over to your machine and you're loading say your card and you um, put the pen tool in and then you go and collect and select draw it will draw all the happy birthdays or the happy Christmases or whatever first and then you take the pen out and you put your blade in and you say cut and it will cut out all these shapes around it. So they're all pre-cut for you. So it's, it's, you know, it's very, I can see it being very, very useful, particularly for people that make cards, that sell cards um, or for things like mass producing for Christmas. Sorry, said it again, Rachel. Um, so... S. Monty saying, I feel everyone's pain. I'm suffering the neck, knee and back pain as well. Oh no, tried medication therapy and pain management. Also had two disc replacement surgeries and now have six screws. Oh no. Um, Alison D saying, wow, that's a button I've not used, but I will from now on, thanks. I was just going to ask you if you could draw and cut then fill. That's great. Yeah, you can. So let's get rid of all these and let's get rid of all these and I'll get rid of that rectangle and then let's see what else we've got. So we've got, um, see, we could maybe make this 
a bit smaller. Now, the thing with the scallops is they will distort if you start spreading them out, you know, horizontally and vertically like that. So you'd kind of have to, you know, look what you're doing. But it, but my point is, it doesn't necessarily have to be a rectangle. It could be any other shape. Let's see what else there is in here. Um, like we've got a banner here. So let's rotate this. Get rid of that because I don't like it when you squish the um, the scallops. So we could we could squash this one down. Um, let's see if we can adjust the nodes. We can. So what I did there, if anybody didn't see, in the middle of this banner I've just brought on, there's a blue square. You probably can't see it on the screen, so I, I just left clicked on that blue square and it brings up the nodes. So now I can adjust these nodes and I can make this banner, you know, fit this greeting a bit better and position it. And again, because everything comes in as a cut line, the banner shape will cut and the words are assigned as a draw line so it doesn't you know have to necessarily be squares or rectangles or ovals but it I think it's going to be so so useful this um, as I say particularly for mass producing and it doesn't have to be the 12 by 12 mat I mean if you come over to is it under artboard it's a, obviously I'm rusty because I've I've not been on for weeks I can't remember where everything is but if you come to the art board, which is the one that looks like a piece of paper over on the right hand side, and then here, if you've got a 12 by 24 mat, you could change your mat size to 12 by 24, select them, go back to edit, come back down to where it says duplicate, it's under transform where it's where you've got your flip vertical and horizontal and it literally just says duplicate and it's got a, a square with triangles in it. When you hover over it, it says fill page and if you just left click on that once, that's all you have to do, it fills the page as best it can. So you could fill a 12 by 24 page. So it, it doesn't have to be 12 by 12. Um, Batch production, I like it. We'll be making some for charity shops. Yeah, anything, as I say, you know. And it, and it doesn't have to be um, greetings. It could just be it could just be shapes. So let's get rid of all those. And I'm going to go back to my artboard and I'm just going to change my map back to 12 by 12 because I think you might be able to see it a bit better on the screen. Can you make it so that it cuts out around the word? like the outline of the word instead of using a box or a rectangle um i think have i can't remember i think have we done something like that before um like let's let's just go back to the text happy birthday make that smaller and um, I've got an itchy nose. What does that mean? I'm going to have an argument with somebody. Let's go to edit and come down to offset. And let's try a 0 0.12 outward and create an offset line only around the outer edge is ticked. Option not allowed. Okay, let's try it with a bigger offset. I think it I think I have to weld the words. I think I've done this before in a video and I can't remember. So let's um right, I know what we'll do. So we'll do um can we divide this up? Don't know if we can divide because I've typed it in one word. Um, divide. Oh yeah, we can. So let's get 
oh not this isn't going to be easy i'm going to have to zoom in and if you're making comments i'll 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 have a look in a minute um worked out it's worked it out it's the size so if something is two inches long you should get six across if it's under two inches learning so much already you're refreshing our memories my map decided to stop working this week not being my week as it's seven years old apple describe it as a vintage <laughs> they refused to repair it oh no Hi Ashley, I have a question on the 650W. Do you have to do a certain way to do layers, for example, front, back? I think she's asking for overlays. Um, right, I'm not sure. I'm going to come back to those in a few minutes. Let me just try this first. So I'm going to just try and click select birthday and I'm going to right click and make that a group. And then I'm going to select happy, right click and make, oh, no, I'm obviously not. Select happy, right click and make that a group. So basically what I did, I typed the word all in one go, happy birthday. So it wouldn't let me put the offset. And I think it's because I need possibly to weld them. It's such a long time since I've done this, so I'm playing now. So you're just going to have to just humour me for a few minutes and see. So what I did, I selected the happy word and I came down to divide. And that's divided up all the letters in happy birthday. So what I've done now, I've grouped the letters for happy and I've grouped the letters for birthday. And I'm going to weld and see what happens. So I'm going to select happy and weld and I'm going to select birthday and weld. Now let's see if we can move this over and weld the two together. I don't know if it's welded or not but anyway let's see let's see if we can take the fill out. Fill Opacity is zero. So let's try now. So we'll go back to offset at the bottom. And we'll try a 0 0.12 spacing outward and see what happens. No, still won't let me do it. Um, I know I have done it. I've done a video on it. I just can't remember how to do it. Operation not allowed for selected objects include self-intersecting paths. Right, let's get rid of that. Let me just, let's start again. So let's go to text and I'll do happy, H-A-P-P-Y. And then I'll duplicate that and double click on it so I can change the happy to birthday. Um, let's weld that and see if it welds. I don't know. I can't remember how to do this. I have done, whoever it was asked me, Bonnie, I think it was, I have done a video on what you're asking and you probably could do it with this filter page. I just, I just can't remember at the moment how I did it. Now I'm struggling to select my word. Let's see if we can weld those two together. And let's try offset again. Okay, no, it's not liking it for some reason. Let's try it with a different font. So let's just do happy birthday. And let's just try something that's going to be easier for me to see at the moment. Right, that's better. I can see that now. So, right, let me just come back to your questions a minute. Um, so Face is saying, I have a question on the 650W. Do you have to do a certain way to do layers? Um... 
I'm not sure what you mean, face. Um, Alison's saying, OMG, Mandy, they refused to repair my phone, my iPhone 11. It was three months old. Charlotte's saying, love the playtime. I was disappointed. I thought we should be reducing waste, etc. Taking it to a little computer repairer and he's putting a new hard drive in it. Should be quicker than before. font is awesome what's it called bonnie the font that i was using is called astina a-s-t-i-n-a and i think it's from dafont.com i've used it in several of my other videos um right let's see if we can do it with this one i'm not sure i can't remember i know i've done what you're asking bonnie but i just i just can't think at the moment so let's just try it with this one for now so let's just shrink that one down and let's go to offset and try a 0 0.12 outward only around the outside edge. So that's, so let's go back to layers. So the text, if I go into layers and select the text and come up to the top and assign that as a draw and then come to the outline and that's automatically a cut. So with this font, this is just Arial. The happy birthday is a draw and the offset is a cut. And if I just position that up in the top corner of my mat and go back to the edit icon and then come back to filter page. Yes, it does. So for some reason, it just isn't liking the font that I'm using, that Astina. And I can't remember why. Um, but we'll try it with another font in a minute and see. So, um, Susan's saying, Ashley, I think you put offset around each individual letter, then made the offset bigger and welded them together. Ah, did I? Maybe you're right. I'll try that then in a minute. Thanks, Susan. I know I've done a video on it. I'm just um, a bit rusty. And when I was making my um, swaps for the retreat that I'm going on next weekend and I was filming it while I was doing it it literally took me two days to film it I was like all fumble fingered and I think it's all the painkillers I've been taking I like literally like I'm fumbly so you'll have to excuse me if I just can't think straight um Bonnie saying face where do you have that you have a 650w that's what I have like for example cricket has layers on their cartridges um well yet yeah, for um face you can make layers obviously that's what i'm doing here so if i wanted to so hang on let's get rid of all these a minute and let's get rid of all these and then i'm going to come to the layers tab over on the right hand side and i'm just going to select on my offset and then I'm going to come back to edit. So I've only got the offset selected. And if I come down to offset again and do another offset of my offset, I've now got two offsets and my words. So if you wanted to set, let me just undo this. So if you wanted to draw the words, happy birthday, and then you wanted to cut it out, you would send it to the machine like this. And if you then wanted another offset in a different color, you'd keep that separate and you'd cut that separate because if you keep all those together and send it all to the scan and cut machine and you tell it to draw, it will draw the words. But the minute you say cut, it will cut both the offsets together. So basically what you'll have is like a skinny frame so if you want an offset layer, say you wanted to draw this in black and cut it on white card, you'd send it to the machine like this. And then if you wanted to put a piece of black card behind it as another layer, you'd keep this layer separate and cut that in black. Is that what you mean, Bonnie? I'm not sure. Do 
Jason saying if the text has flourishes, it will not work as they cross each other, I think. OK, so we'll, what we'll do, we'll, I'll, I'll do it again in a minute and I'll do what Susan suggested and see if it's putting the um, offset around each individual letter. I know I've covered it in a video, I just can't remember. But basically, um, the answer to the question is, yes, you can cut round your word and it will create. So if I, if I select these now and go back to this filter page, it will fill my page as best it can with those. So I've got my happy birthday and my offset, which would be cut as one drawn and cut as one um, item, if you like. And then I've got the other offsets here that I could cut. So if I fill that with black, and then that would go, let's send that to the back, go back to the layers panel. Oh, that's, no, no. It's too many layers there for me. That's gonna mess with my head. Let me right click and go arrange, center back. And then arrange, bring to front. Where's my, let's fill that one with white. And then I want my words, let's get my words out of the way. So I'm just trying to see if we can to bring this to front. And then there's the words. Um, Bring to front. Um, no, I don't want to fill them with black. So do you see what I mean? <laughs> so if you left your words and that layer like that and sent that over to the machine that's what it would cut it would cut that skinny frame does that make sense so you your bigger offset you need to keep separate and let's just put those back and then I'll put that back in there Let's take the fill out of that because we don't need a fill in that now. I was just trying to show you what it looked like if you left it all together. So, so yeah, so the answer is you can, oops, you can um, cut around the letters. The other thing is let's get rid of these and then just play about with the offset. So if we choose this and come back to offset, I did a 0 0.012, so let's take it down to 0 0.08 outward, only around the outside and say, OK, so you've got a smaller offset now. So it doesn't have to be the 0 point whatever. You can use whatever it will work with, basically. So if you go to offset, let's try 0 0.04. So now there, I've got a tiny, tiny offset. And because I've used a smaller offset, can you see it's offsetting each word individually. So the bigger the offset you use, so let's go back to 0 0.012. Can you see it's, it's gone round the two words together because the bigger the offset, it will fill in these spaces. Does that make sense? Right, I can see loads of comments and I can't, I'm just going to go back. Um, that font is awesome. What's it called? Um, right, I'm going to have a look and see what um, do what Susan said in a minute. So Bonnie's saying, "Yeah, that's what I meant." Now, can you take that word and copy it so that it covers the page? Um, 
Yeah, Bonnie, I think I've I think I've just answered it now. So hang on, let's let's go back to Bonnie. So we've got happy birthday. We've gone to offset. I'm going to let's try a 0 0.08 and see if it does the whole thing. See 0 0.08 offset offsets each word separately. So 0 0.08 isn't big enough to give you an offset around the whole thing. Okay, so let's get rid of that. So let's come back. Offset. Can we do 0 0.09? And say okay. Now 0 0.09, if you look at this closely, is one piece. There's, it's actually kind of welded there. So 0 0.09 gives you an offset around both separate words and then you could choose the offset and say make a 0 0.04 which is a smaller offset and then get rid of those and let's put those two together select them both come back to duplicate and see how it fills the page so it's it's filling the page as best it can it obviously can't get three across so this section here would draw and cut and what you would do you would cut all these separately so you could either put say this lot on one half of your mat and put black card and then put this lot on the other half of your mat and put white card and you could say draw and it would draw all these happy birthdays first and then when you say cut it would cut all these outlines around this lot and it would cut all these outlines around this lot here because this lot and this offset are both, are both cuts. Does that make sense? Okay, yes that makes sense. Um, Alison saying when my PC crashed a few months ago I lost the three filter buttons on Canvas Workspace for web does anyone know how to get them back and Bonnie's saying yes you answered the question already thank you okay Alison we'll have a look at that in a minute I'm not sure I would have thought that they just show automatically, but maybe not. We'll have a look, Alison, in a minute. Right, let's go back to what Susan suggested. So we'll go back to text and we'll type happy birthday again. And we'll choose Astina. So for whoever asked me, it's A-S-T-I-N-A, -A, Astina. And it's from Defont, I'm sure it is. I'm going to make that smaller. So it's just over two and a half inches wide and it's just over half an inch high. Maybe you'd make that slightly bigger for a greeting. So let's put that up there and let's try what Susan said. Offset, I'll untick the bit that says create the offset around the outside edge only. And we'll try 0 0.04 and it still won't let me do it. And that I'm thinking is what Jason's saying because some of the text overlaps. But usually if you weld it, um, but it's not, seem, it's not seeming to weld. So let's weld it first. Um, I don't think it's welded, but anyway, let's try this. So we'll go offset, we'll try 0 0.08. Still won't let me do it. I'm going to try something else. I'm just going to type some text again. J P P Y B I R T H D A Y. Right, I'm going to I'm going to make this big just so that I can hopefully see what's going on on my screen. So I can see 
that the letters do overlap but they're not welded so I'm going to try this so I'm going to try convert to shapes and then I'm going to weld and it's welded this time ah okay so now if I fill this in with pink in the hope that you might see it better this is all welded now so let's make it smaller And now let's try the offset and see if it works. It probably won't, but so we'll go offset. We'll say, we'll tick this box again, create an offset around the outside edge only. And we'll say, okay, and it still won't do it. So let's try unticking that. And it still won't do it, even though I've welded it. Hmm interesting let's see what's happening so offset let's make the offset bigger haha -ha. so it's done it now because I made the offset bigger so I think it's I think it's a combination of the offset needs to be of a certain size and it's a combination of the fact that, as Jason said, with the swirly letters, if they kind of overlap each other, it doesn't like it. But we have now got an offset. So if I fill this one with purple, just in the hope that you can see it a bit better, we've got an offset. And let's go to the layers panel and bring that offset to the bottom. And let's choose both of these go back to edit and we'll center them so it's all nice and centered and now we can make it smaller so let's get rid of that one so we want the one in pink to be assigned as a draw line the one in purple is a cut line automatically just going to line them both up together again. So I'm on the edit tab and I'm on um, under a line, center, center. And now if I go to duplicate, yeah, it's going to do it. So yes, we can, Bonnie, we can do it. So I'll recap on how I did it. Ashley, I think what I remember to use using a stamped image scan. Try turning. I love how you never give up. <laughs> I would have given up by now, Rachel <laughs> saying. Right, let's let's go back and we'll and I'll and I'll show you what I did. So we'll go to text. We'll click text. Let's try Happy Christmas. I know this is gonna drive Rachel mad. Happy Christmas. I'm gonna assign that as a draw see if it makes any difference doing it this way so we've got happy christmas and i'm because it's text and i think i need to weld it to make this process work i want to convert the text into a shape okay so with the text selected i'm coming down here under process overlap and it says convert to shapes so that's effectively made that a shape now rather than text. Now, if I, let's see if I can zoom in and just see if you can see this any better. Let me get my magnifying glass, which won't select at the moment. So if I zoom in on that, I'm not sure how well you'll see, but if you look at the H, the um, horizontal stroke of the H overlaps the A but they're not welded. They just, it's like when you write it and you put, you know, the stroke across, it's like a drawn line across. Although this is now classed as a shape because I've converted it. So I'm going to weld it now. And then it, you probably won't see, but I can see that it actually welded. See if I can make it any bigger. Don't know if I can zoom in anymore. Let me try and zoom in on this here. Can you see now that's welded together? Okay, so let's go back. 
because that's hurting my eyes looking at it that big. So I, I typed the word, I selected it and I used convert to shapes. Then once I'd converted it to a shape and it was still selected, I hit weld. So that's now welded all this together. So now I should be able to come to offset and choose an offset. Now, I think it's, you're going to get dependent on the size of the offset. So if we go down to 0 0.08 and say, OK, now it's done it. So let's undo that and let's see if we can do a 0 0.04. And it's done it. So yeah, so you, that's how you do it. You type your word, make sure it's selected, convert it to a shape, weld it, and then you can add your offset layers in whatever size you want. So let's come back to select the word offset let's use 0 0.08 and I'm saying around the outside edge only so it's just going to follow the the letters so I've got this this box ticked here and that gives us one offset and then I can select the offset and I can do it again and I can make it whatever size I want and don't forget, you can type your own measurement in here. So they go up in fours, don't they? Like 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. But you can change this to 0 0.09 if you want. So let's leave it as 0 0.08 around the outside again. And that gives us another offset. And then we could do it again if we want another 0 0.08 around that. So we'd end up with multiple offset layers. But remember, your first one needs to be together. So you, your words need to be assigned as a draw and everything else will be a cut. And the first offset, you want to draw and cut as one object. And then your other offsets, you would cut them separately and you could cut them in different colours. Um... Right, let's see. Um, we were, <laughs> I would have given up by now. I have no patience, Rachel's saying. Alison saying, yippee, you're funny, Rachel. That's why I think Ashley is the best. Oh. Rachel saying, got Christmas cards all over the place. That's what I'll be doing next week. Bonnie's saying, thank you. Ashley, I think you already did that. Okay. So yeah, so you can. So in answer to, to Bonnie's question like half an hour ago, you can you can do it. So if you if you type something in a font that you have on your computer and it won't let you put an offset around it, do the convert to shapes first and then weld it. Let's try it without welding it and see. If so, I'm going to just fill these in with color just so we've got kind of so we'll fill that one in with purple, we'll do that one with pink. So let's bring that to the front. So we'd layer that one on top of there. This one we'll do with let's see, we'll put that one that needs to. I'm right clicking here and doing bring to front. Put that one on there and then we'll just bring can't get hold of this because it's skinny right click arrange bring to front oh my lord come on and we'll put that on there then if I select them all and center them that's how that would look layered up let's try H A P P Y C H R I S T M A S. Happy Christmas. 
let's do convert to shapes and we won't weld it this time we've just converted it to a shape let's see if the offset works now so we'll do an, a 0 0.08 and just around the outside edge and it won't so you've got to weld it so that's the trick you've got to type your text convert it to a shape then weld it then it'll let you let you make your offset layers right let's see what we're doing um uh ashley is awesome thank you i didn't realize i could manually change the offset um yeah so let's weld this now so i've got this one selected and i've welded it let's go to offset let's did i weld it i can't remember whether i welded it did i convert it to a shape who knows offset let's go 0 0.012 no let's make it bigger i can't see whether it's welded let me zoom in see if that's welded yeah that's welded so let's zoom out and let's try the offset on the bigger word okay it's done it on the bigger word so again if you're struggling if you've done the convert to shapes and you've done the weld and it still won't do it make your word bigger i think it's this font and i think it's like jason said it's because you've got these overlapping elements you know all these like letters kind of overlap each other so we've got um i forgot what i was going to do now <laughs> oh my days what was i going to do um let's select everything and make it smaller again oh the offset so let's choose the offset let's click offset and let's see if we can do 0 0.10 so 0 0.10 and say okay yeah you can so you can you can put whatever measurement you want in so if i go back to that offset and it was 0 0.08 wasn't it so it would normally go to 0 0.12 let's say okay yeah is slightly bigger so yeah you can you can adjust it finely um, okay so let's see how we go in um, that could be really useful thank you so much Ashley I didn't mean to have you do an entire live show today it's fine Bonnie don't worry that's what I'm here for um, and I have to tell you that what I've, how long have I been on over an hour and i'm still managing to be able to sit and i'm not feeling uncomfortable so that's something um absolutely brilliant so good to see you back ashley only just joined so look forward to seeing this later manually change right let's go let's go and have a look what did you want me to look at now um canvas online so let's go to safari and let's go to canvas workspace and let me log in and go to a new page and was it Alison what what was it you lost I can't remember what you said you'd lost yeah it's all right mandy i am gonna um i've got to take my painkillers at i think it's 6 30 so um and i have to say until the last couple of days literally after about five hours i would have been in pain and i was like waiting for the time to take my painkillers but i am managing to stretch it out now so i, I definitely am starting to get on the mend 
Um, and for anybody that came in late, I did mention it at the beginning, but in case I forget to say before I leave, I'm not going to be here next weekend because I'm going to a stamping up retreat. Um, so I'm due to leave on Friday and I'm due home on Sunday and I'm not sure what time I'm going to get home so I won't be doing a live next week. Um, be careful when you do get up, walk about a bit. I will do. Thanks, Alison. Right, so what was it you'd lost? I can't remember. Was it Alison and you'd lost something in Canvas Online? What have you lost? I can't remember what you said. Just have a quick drink of my juice. The three filter pages on the pattern page. Right, okay, let's have a look. The three filter pages on the pattern page. Um, not pages, sorry, icons. Right, Alison, I don't I'm I know I'm being stupid, but I don't know what what I'm looking for. You should be able to see my Canvas workspace screen. Let me make it. Um, let me make it bigger. Right. What What am I missing, Alison? I'm not sure what what I'm looking for for you. The three filter pages on the patterns page. Oh, okay, hang on. Do you mean on Canvas Workspace? Um, right, I'm confused now. Where you get the freebies. Okay, Alison, am I on the right page now? Let's do this step by step. <laughs> it's like painting by numbers, this, isn't it? So I'm on the Canvas Workspace page now where you choose the projects. So first of all, tell me, is, is that where I need to be? I think this is where you mean, where you get the freebies from. Okay. So I'm just waiting for Alison to reply to me. But I don't know, I don't know what, what you're saying you can't see. Um, when you search for something. Okay, so in the search box, what should I type? Yes, Ashley, okay. So let's type vinyl and hit enter and it's bringing up vinyl umbrella. So is that what you mean? I'm not sure what you've lost. Um, so let's come out of that and go back to Canvas Projects. <clears throat> okay, so a filter comes up with you and I don't have it. Um, Okay, let's try again. So, okay, so you put something in the search box. Is that what you mean? So if I, let's see, let's choose Halloween. Um, right, so it, it it's giving me these options here now. I don't remember seeing these before, but I don't always have, always have my screen on full screen. So I'm going to choose in the search box, I'm going to choose Halloween. 
and that's brought up the Halloween projects. So what what have I got, Alison, that you've not got? Have you not got that search box? Is that what you're saying? A filter comes up with you and I don't have it. Hmm. There used to be a filter tag, didn't they? But that seems to have gone now. So if I take Halloween out, that's going to bring back all my um So this is just like where you choose your canvas workspace project. But you did used to have like a filter icon. I know what you mean. There was an icon that you clicked on, but now I think you've just got this search box. So you just go to type in the search box. The three little filters on the bottom right in purple. Okay, the three little filters on the bottom right in purple. Um... I haven't got anything on the bottom right in purple. Is anybody else looking at Canvas Workspace online on their computer while they're, they're with us? I know what you mean, there did used to be like a filter icon, but I don't think there is anymore. Let me make this smaller again and see. There's no filter icon now. I think what they've done, they've put this search box in. I think that's, is that what you mean? No, Alison, I think, I think they've taken it away. I, 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 I know what you're talking about now. There used to be like a box with an arrow or something like that, which was filter. But no, I think it's, I wonder if they took it away when they did the last update. Because um, I know what you mean, because I'm not seeing it now, but you've got this big search box here right at the top now under where it says canvas projects my projects pattern collect collections and disney you've got this search box and if you're left clicking that search box now it brings all this up for you so i'm guessing they've changed it and i'm also guessing that all these words that are in here all these tags all relate to projects that are in here so if you want to look for like i just did then for halloween you select halloween and it'll bring all the Halloween projects up. And then if you hit the cross next to the word Halloween, it brings you back to all the projects. And if you click in the search box again and you and you click on a plea K, it'll bring up anything with a plea K. So I think they've moved that box and given us this big search box. And again, if you click on the X when you hover, when you hover over the word a plea K, click the X, it'll bring all your projects back. So I suppose once you click in here, you can either choose your words from here or you can just start to type something. So if I just put box, I'm typing the word box and hit enter, it'll bring anything up that's got box in its title. And then if I highlight that and delete that on my keyboard, or just go back to Canvas Workspace, it will bring back all the projects. So I think the filter that you're talking about, Alison, has gone. And I think we've got this big search box here now with all these key, um, like keyword tags. Um, right, so let's see what, what, let me see what you're saying. So um, when you search, a filter comes up. The three little filters. Sorry, it's not there anymore. Rachel's saying, I'm searching. Don't think I have. If only got the one on the top. I remember down the very bottom. You, Yeah, I, I think you're right, um, Alison. And I think by the look of it, they've taken it out and they've put this big search box in with all these keywords in now. So it's, I, I don't think it's the fact that you've lost it. I think it's the fact that it's been taken away. And it probably just coincides with the fact that you 
changed your computer. Um, Anka's saying, I am, but I see the same as you, no filters. Okay, thanks for that, Anka. Um, I have only got the, the one on the top. Maria's saying, just turned it on. Um, you don't have it now. Hi, Lynn, hope you're okay. Sorry, just received notification you were live. Have missed you for a few weeks. Hope all is well. I'm, I'm getting better, Lynn, thank you. Um, but this is this has been recorded, so you can go back and watch it if you want. I thought there was something wrong when my PC crashed. Um, that search has always been there. Um, yeah, I think they've taken it out. I don't remember seeing all these keywords in before, though. Maybe they were there. I can't remember. I'll have to go back and watch one of my old videos if I can find one where I showed how to filter. Um, it's not anywhere else, is it? Let's have a look. So up here we've got, what's this one? This one's my projects. That's log out. That's help. That's just how you get to your account. And this is just at the bottom. This is like news and release notes. So yeah, I think the filter icon has gone. And I'm guessing that they've added in these keywords instead or were they already there I don't know but I'm thinking like if you choose fabric that is filtering that is filtering everything that's to do with fabric so and then click the X against fabric and it brings you back to all the projects and they just all load as you scroll so that's your filter now. Either just by putting something in here or choosing one of these tags, I'm guessing. Because um, I think in the past, if I've filtered, I've just filtered for like, say, vinyl or something like that. I'm sure that's how I've done it in the past. Whereas now you've got the You've got the filter words here already. The minute you click in this search box, all the filter words come up for you. So hopefully that's that's sorted Alison out. Um, that search has always been there. Yeah. Thanks for your help, guys. And actually, I thought I'd done something wrong. I think you looked for a heart or something like that in the old filter. Okay, so let's try that. So if I just click in the search box and type heart. Just before I type it, is there a keyword for it? Let's just have a quick look. Spring, applique, um, graduation, emboss, apparel, quilting. Right, so there's nothing there that says heart. So if I type heart and hit enter, it's bringing them up. So it it's it just being done by this search box by the look of it now. And then if I click this, what happens? Okay, so if you use your own word, so if I just type heart and hit enter, It'll bring anything up that's got heart in it. And then to get back to all the projects, you click the cross on the right hand side. And that brings us back to all our projects. If we click in the box and use one of the keywords, so we'll use baby, that will bring anything up that's got baby or baby related or baby in its title. And then to get back to all your projects, you can click on the word baby or you can click on the cross over there. So if you click on the cross next to baby, that'll bring you back to all your projects again. Okay, so that's that's something new. Right, hang on, let's see. Lynn saying, has anyone got issues since upgrade to 1.61 on SDX? Uh, not that I've noticed, but Lynn, I literally have only been back on my scan and cut in the last two days. I've had to make some swaps. Well, I've not had to, but we were asked if we wanted to make some swaps for a retreat I'm going to next weekend. And um, yesterday and the day before I did my swaps and a project and I didn't notice anything. What, um, what issues, Lynn? 
How do I buy you a coffee? Oh, face. Um, to buy me a coffee, you need to go to my website. Um, go to www.applelover53.co.uk and click on buy me a coffee. <laughs> this was a great tutorial. Thank you. I must run along. You're welcome, Linda. As I say, it wasn't anything in particular. I had nothing planned because I've been so poorly for the last five or so weeks. But because I'm not going to be here next week and I, I am able to sit for a bit now, I wanted to just come on and catch up with everybody. And as I say, somebody did ask me a few weeks ago, even though I did the video on the filter page, if we could go over it in a live. So that's why I just thought I'd combine the two. Um, you click on Kofi link. It's very easy. Mandy's saying, oh, thank you. Um, this way is much easier. It is much easier for me to remember. Mine is doing a double depth test cut before cutting. Mm. Um, Lynn, I, I honestly, I can't say that I noticed, but like I say, I'm, I'm still not 100%. So um, I have used my scan and cut in the last couple of days to cut some shapes, but I honestly can't say that I sat and looked at it um, because sitting has been a struggle. <laughs> um, my hip, my, the pain in my hip when I was sitting was unbearable and the pain in my knee um, so literally I've not been sitting but I can't say that I noticed but um, I'm hoping as I said earlier to go and watch Hannah tomorrow I, I'm not no way am I going to walk the whole of the course um, but I'm hoping to it's a course where I know I can stand on one hole and watch a few holes at a time so I'm hoping to go and try and watch Hannah play golf tomorrow. But if I get some time on Tuesday, um, because when I get home tomorrow, I'm going to rest because I know I'm going to be tired, especially with walking on une uneven ground. When you're walking on a fairway, it's not all flat, is it? So I know I'm going to be tired. But on Tuesday, I'll have a look and see if I see if notice if it does anything. Um, so mine is doing a double depth test cut before cutting so do you mean it's cutting deeper or do you mean it's cutting and then moving and cutting again before it starts um um oh alison's saying don't forget to hit the like button oh thanks alison just taking a screenshot of host code for september ashley just taking a screenshot of host code for September, Ashley. Oh yeah, my host code for stamping up products. Yeah, I post it. It's everywhere. I post it on the homepage of my website. I post it on the homepage of my, um, like under shop. If you go to stamping up, it's generally on the homepage of my stamping up. And I generally post it on Facebook as well. Um, so like here under welcome on the homepage, it's there as well. And I post it on Facebook. Um, I'm not the only one and brother not replying to anyone's queries. Oh, how strange. Lynn, did you buy your machine from Makers? Because if you did, I would email Makers. Um, literally when I go in a few minutes I'm going to go and take my painkillers and I'm going to go and get something to eat and I'm actually just going to rest the rest of tonight so I'm not going to um, I'm not going to look tonight Lynn but I will make a note and I'll try and look on Tuesday and see if mine is doing it but like I say I hadn't I hadn't noticed um but if it is, and if, if it's happening to a few other people, I'm guessing that brother will be able to sort it out. It, it must only be a bug. 
I'm guessing that they'll be able to sort it out with a bug fix. Um, I'm glad to see you're feeling better, but be careful. Have missed you. Thank you so much for today. Are oh, you welcome, Rachel? Thank you. No, it does the test on the edge of the mat. Then Tess cuts card, moves a couple of millimetres. Then Tess cuts card a second time before starting to cut. Okay, right, well, like I say, I'll make a note, Lynn, and I'll, I'll have a look on Tuesday, but I honestly don't know. Susan is saying, thank you, Ashley, take care. Yes, I knew, Susan. Yes, she did. Right, well, I would email makers. If I remember later on when I've had my food, I'll, I'll message Anna at makers and I'll say that somebody's brought it up tonight and has she... Because they have machines that they use. Everybody at makers has a machine that they, they... Their own machine and they use them as well. And they all use the Disney machine, so... Um, you know, it's not like they just sell them. They do actually use them and they make projects with them. So it'd be interesting to see, um, you know, whether mine's doing it as well or not. Um, Kareen is saying mine does a double test. Glad you're feeling better. Take care of yourself and thank you for this session. You're welcome, Maria. Thanks, Ashley. Rest up and I'll catch up with you soon. Yeah, and me, uh, Jason, I know I've been... Um, you know, Miss Jason's on my team, everybody, by the way, um, on my stamping up team. And I know I've been, you know, not in touch with, with you all for months. Um, what with Hannah playing golf and then with me being out of action for weeks on end. I'm really sorry. Um, I've not, I've not been a very good stamping up leader over the last few months. But I'll, um, once I get back to full fitness and full health, we'll, um, We'll try and catch up. Uh, thanks for today. Great to be back. Have a nice retreat. Oh, thanks, uh, Mandy. Never been on a stamping up retreat before. I'm a bit nervous, to be honest, but I booked and paid for it a while ago, so um, I won't get my money back, and I won't get my money back for my hotel, so that's why I've been frantically resting and doing what everyone, doctors has been telling me and taking all my pain medication every six hours religiously to try and help me be in a fit state to be able to travel next weekend. Um, I would have thought a backtrack to previous version in the meantime. Others have had issues with card not cutting through since the update too. Oh, right. Well, I've definitely not had any problems with it cutting because like I say, um, yesterday and the day before, I've, I've used it to make... Uh, my swaps and I've cut a shape from the machine um, and they all cut perfectly so I've not I know I've not had cutting issues I just honestly can't say that I looked at it to see whether it did this double thing or not I wasn't really paying that much attention to be honest I was just basically trying to get my swaps done and film the video so that I had some content for my channel going forward in the next few weeks Um Rachel's saying, Tr try and have a relaxing evening. Yeah, I'm going to, Rachel, thanks for that. Had a go with Merry Christmas and did the off-cut inside and outside. Brilliant. Also never noticed the duplicate all page, but until today. Uh, Maria, it was an update it did. Was it back in June? I can't remember. June or July. And I did do a kind of quick first impressions video on it. But then I've not done anything with it since because, like I say, I've I've been out of action for five weeks or so. So the last live I did was the 8th of August. So I don't know how many weeks that is, but I had a look before I came live tonight. And my last live I did on a Sunday with you all was, I think it said Sunday the 8th of August. So I've not been on full tilt myself, <laughs> not trying to catch up now time to order new stuff oh jason hope you're not have you been poorly um bonnie's saying good luck to hannah oh thank you um your painkillers are due it's 6 30 right thanks i am gonna go 
um, it's gone half six, you need to take your painkillers. Yeah, I'm going to go because literally I, I am taking them every, every, every six hours so that I'm keeping on top of them. Right, well, thank you for being here. Um, hope it was useful. <laughs> Let's get nagging. Go and take the painkillers. I am. I'm going to go now. Thanks. Um, all the very best to you, Ashley. Please be careful and all the best to Hannah. Oh, thank you. Um, trying to figure out the buy me a coffee computer dummy I am. Um, you should just be able to click on it um face but don't worry you don't have to honestly but on mine if i click on it it just takes me to this site called kofi and you just click donate i think three pound is the minimum you can donate but anyway um i'm not here for you to donate i'm here to just try and help so right i'm gonna go oh, patty hi yeah, like I said, I'm not going to be here next Sunday, but I will definitely try and be back the Sunday after. No idea what I'm going to do. Let's hope that my mushy painkiller brain comes up with something that I can um, show you in a couple of weeks. Or if anybody's got anything they want me to go over again, just message me. Um, I know that I wasn't, I wasn't answering emails or anything for weeks or answering any Facebook messages because I literally couldn't. I couldn't sit. I couldn't, I just couldn't concentrate. I couldn't function. I was in so much pain. So, right, I am going to go now anyway. So thank you for, for being here, everybody. Thank you for joining me. It's been lovely to catch up with you all. I have missed you all. And I know a few of you have mess messaged me recently asking me if I'm okay, which is lovely. Thank you. Um, <clears throat> and... I am going to go now because I'm going to go and get my painkillers and I'm going to go and get something to eat. So take care, night night, um, and I'll speak.